it's a whole new world for us really and I'm very interested in the sort of yeah, there, there he goes again there you go I'm very interested in the other sorts of detectors that perhaps give you a little more information than these do. Here in Pengasley, Tom used to monitor bat boxes for years. There's a whole sequence, there's like 50 to 75 boxes here. Never found a barber stand in them. Well, I mean, it was Tom's hope. I didn't right. realise this till afterwards, that he had hoped to find barber. He had hoped to find Becksteins too, but we've both been disappointed on that front. I'm Steve Rowe and we're back on the road for your new series of Bat Chat from the Bat Conservation Trust. So we're going to set some heart traps and nets. There's a pond over there. There's a few good spots between these trees. We need to think like a grey long-eared for the next few hours. If you were a grey long-eared, where would you be? What would you be doing? In each episode, you'll meet amazing people working to conserve some of the UK's most elusive mammals and hear how they're fighting for the cause. I think it's vital that we make all our politicians and leaders know that nature matters. It's not just an add an extra. It, it needs to go higher up in the political agenda. That's why we're here. And I'm a bat worker, I'm nosy. So I just started looking in crevices and realising that what we'd got was not just the odd pipistrelle, that was actually significant numbers here. This is almost the polar opposite. So join me on location for a new series of Bat Chats from the Bat Conservation Trust coming to you this autumn.